We are now ready to conduct our three-factor full factorial design experiment. The three factors we had were the underwing fold, let's grab one of these, whether or not we had an underwing fold, whether or not it was square or had a point, and the length of the body. All right, so I just grabbed one at random, and this is number six. So we're going to fly helicopter number six and make sure that my underwing folds are folded nicely. Here we have number six, and we're going to fly this one. I have to kill myself on the ladder here. And two minutes, no, two seconds, and nine. 2.9, number six, 2.9, yeah, two minutes. All right, we'll grab another one. At random, number two. Here we have number two. Let's fly that one. And Okay, that was number two, and that flew 3.22. 3.22. All right, grab another one. Here's number one. Number one. Two point eight seven. Number one. Right, let's see what do we got here. Ah, number seven. Here we have number seven. Number seven. 2.81 for number seven. 2.81. Now you're going to fly each of these five times so that some of the variability that we're going to see, which could be in the measurement system with the stopwatch, and um, sometimes there's little air currents or whatever. Here's number four. I think number four was just a plain old ordinary, um, our standard model. up. And the last one, the one we've been looking for, number eight. Okay, here's number eight. Two point seven two. All right, so we gather those up again, and we're going to repeat this four more times. So it'll be five data points per experiment run. And in this particular case, because we've got eight experiment runs. Each of the factors has four runs at each one of the level settings. So I've got five data points per experiment run times four runs for each level setting. So that's 20 data points at each level setting for each one of the factors. So that's a pretty darn good sample size. We've got 20 data points for either a long body or a short body, for either having an underwing fold or not having an underwing fold, or for having a point or a square bottom. So there's 20 data points for each one of those. Now all we gotta do is collect the rest of the data. Let's put it into Minitab 
and then we can conduct our design experiment analysis to find out which of these factors had any kind of significant influence on increasing the flight time of our helicopter. 